How is it possible to look leaner without losing any body fat? Okay, so this is me, and this is me only 24 hours later. You can obviously tell I look leaner, fuller, more muscular, but how do I do this without losing any body fat? Make sure you guys stick around because I'll be showing you guys what circumstances actually allowed me to do this and how you can do the same to transform your body. Okay, so I generally did not realize I could transform my body in such a short period of time until I started competing in a bodybuilding competition. You're probably thinking that bodybuilding competitions take a long time. Yes, that is true, but I'll get to the point. You know, around five months ago, I had a solid base of muscle I built from four years of training and then I decided why not compete in a bodybuilding show right so month by month I cut my calories I go through the prep I feel worse and worse now eventually I'm one week out of my competition now this is where the magic actually happened throughout this special week I was able to make manipulations in specific variables that allowed me to transform my body in one day that would otherwise take about a month to look visually so what are these said variables I'll explain each variable to you so you can properly understand how to manipulate them to make the changes that you want to make the first one is carbohydrates and everyone's most favorite macronutrient the most addictive if you combine it with some fat as well okay let's say you have a huge bowl of pasta like a huge carbohydrate dense meal you eat it right you digest it in your stomach and then eventually it goes to your small intestine where it gets absorbed now where our body sends these carbs after absorbing them is what's going to be important to us so we can use that as our advantage to make the transformation we want to make so the carbs are going to be entering your bloodstream then it's going to be filled in your liver and then your muscles and it'll be stored as glycogen which is what's going to be important i'll tell you guys how i manipulated carbs to make my transformation but let's talk about the most important variable that i manipulated that can make a light and day difference and that is sodium sodium is such an important electrolyte for health but if you combine it with like ground beef and carbs that's going to be a recipe for clogged arteries i'm just kidding i like burgers in moderation but sodium is seen as the devil in society because that's what actually makes food taste good sodium's not the enemy though let's say you eat 1,000 calories worth of bananas every single day and get more bluegill beef are you going to call the bananas bad no you're bad not the banana here's a specific function of sodium that's going to be important to us and that's the ability to drag water along with it the general rule is that wherever sodium goes water goes but there's going to be another variable that can throw everything away if we don't get that variable right that variable is potassium you see everyone bad mouthing sodium but not potassium that's because potassium doesn't taste good have you guys ever tried potassium salt nobody puts potassium salt in their food because it tastes terrible trust me i know this because there's a circumstance where i had to straight eat potassium salt and it is not fun six pack abs so I can walk in the beach and look good. Now now look at me. Freaking potassium salt and quad espresso. What we need to know about potassium is that for sodium to do its job, we need potassium. Now the final variable that brings carbs, sodium, potassium, and everything together in one piece is water. What we should know about water is that water follows things. Water follows sodium, water follows carbs, and that's gonna be very important for our purposes. Now, how do I manipulate these said variables that allowed me to wake up 24 hours feeling like a completely different person? My show was on a Saturday, so I wanted my Friday body to look completely different from my Saturday body. So I started this entire process exactly a week before so what i did on sunday monday and tuesday is limit my carbs to literally zero or maybe like 40 grams i still have my calories but it was just made up of completely fat and protein the reason i did this is that it significantly depletes all the glycogen stores in my muscles and my liver so by the time it was tuesday all the glycogen in my muscles were completely gone and disappeared so i looked flat as a pancake i literally shrunk you're probably thinking how getting smaller is going to benefit me but let me explain so when you deplete your body of glycogen right your body's literally feeding for carbs it's going to be in hunger starvation mode so when you feed it some carbs it's going to absorb it like a sponge so the point is to achieve a super compensation effect so that your body just immediately absorbs the carbs it's going to get so what i do on wednesday and thursday i carb loaded i increased my carbs i increased my water and sodium as well but i'll explain to you guys why i did that so at this point the carbs are going to be my muscle it's going to make me look big now what about the water and sodium what did i tell you guys about sodium water the water is going to follow carbs right if i fill myself up with carbs the water is going to follow the carbs and make me look even more bigger which is nice now comes friday probably the most important day of the week because on this day i'm going to get as lean and shredded as possible so i can look amazing on saturday so the key players that allowed me to do this is sodium and water remember that water follows sodium so what i did during friday is reduce my water intake and reduce my sodium intake i also had zero carbs but i'll explain why i had zero carbs soon so now my body has less salt in the system so the water is not going to want to stick around right so what's the water going to do it's going to leap it's going to go through as piss so the water is going to leave my body with the sodium and guys let me tell you 
water retention can make it in light and day difference, but how does the zero carbs play into all of this? I'm already carb loaded at this point, right? So I don't wanna have too much carbs because there is a limit to how much carbs slash glycogen your muscles and liver can hold. So the extra carbs I have is gonna spill over and make me look even worse, which is not good. Now what glycogen does is that it holds on to the water inside of my muscles. So when I'm reducing my water and salt intake, the water I'm gonna lose is gonna be mostly not my muscular water, which I wanna keep. Okay, now came Saturday, I look tight, I look lean, I look big, muscular, full, but here's the most important thing. What I did just now was explain what I did for my bodybuilding show. Now, I know most of you guys that clicked on this video are not competing for a bodybuilding show, so let me tell you how you guys can manipulate these variables for your day-to-day -day life. I also wanna say not to follow my bodybuilding prep protocol because it's individualized to me and it can be different and people can react differently to it. If you have dangerously low sodium water levels or dangerously high sodium water levels, that is not good and it's dangerous for your health, so please do not do that. Also, this can go a complete opposite direction. This is how I look two days after my show. Yes, two days, my face literally exploded. So these variables can play a huge part and make it light and day difference. And if you mess it up, it can literally take you the other direction. So don't do that. Let's get to the good part. Now, how can you manipulate these variables so you can make that mini transformation? Let's start off with how you can get bigger and then I'll explain how we can get leaner. What you want to manipulate to get bigger is carbs, but please do not manipulate it like I did. So carbs are obviously gonna make you look bigger because it's gonna be stored in your muscles, right? But there's absolutely no reason for you guys to make carbs zero for the first three days of the weekend so we can super compensate because I did that for a bodybuilding show. You guys have no reason to do that throughout the week because that's just not practical to do like once a week. Don't even think about it. Here's an amazing alternative. So what I want you guys to do is after a good lifting session, maybe a good upper body or lower body workout, I want you guys to have a high carbohydrate meal right after your lift. Maybe a good bowl of pasta with some ground beef or something. Also have a good amount of water and salt because the carbs going into your muscles are going to depend on water and salt. Remember what I told you guys about super compensating for glycogen? So your muscles after you lift are going to be feeding for carbs and glycogen again. Similar to how I depleted it, but you still get that super compensation effect, but not as extreme. So the carbs are going to be absorbed into your muscle like a sponge because when you lift, you actually deplete all that glycogen. So your muscles are going to want more. And then you're going to look nice and full and a bit more muscular and vascular throughout the day, which is nice, right? But keep in mind, if you're on a cut and doing this, it's not really going to work because your calories are already so too low that your body's going to use that carbs just for energy to live. Now the getting leaner part is probably what's going to make the most difference in your physique. Again, do not do what I did with water and salt because if you reduce it to an extreme extent before show day like I did, it's just not going to react well and it's not healthy to do every single week. Let's say you had a nice night out with your family or your friends and you eat a lot of food and you don't even know what you ate. You wake up the next day, four pounds heavier with a circular face. You're like, oh no, I gained all this fat. But you didn't gain fat. You just ate a lot of salt with that food and because of that salt, you drink a lot of water and that water is in your body making you look a bit more chunkier. See, that's why you always feel thirsty after eating a big salty meal. Like I just cannot not drink water after going to a Chinese restaurant. Like all the MSG and salt in Chinese food just make me want to drink like two gallons of water after eating. Of course, I'm going to be chunkier the day after. Now you're probably going to notice that after a couple of days, just eating a normal diet, you're just going to tone down and look a bit better. Now, how does this process work and how can you take advantage of that? You know, even if you guys didn't have a huge cheat meal like that, what you can do is actually track your sodium throughout the day meal, maybe for like a week. You can see how much sodium you're actually having because the average adult needs like what, 2,500 mg sodium a day. So if you're having like 5,000 every single day, you're like, oh no, I've been having too much sodium. So maybe try reducing that sodium week by week. So now you're gonna notice that you look leaner and better because you've actually been eating too much sodium throughout the day and that's less water in your system making you look less fat. What I wanna say is that a good, true, natural physique that's healthy takes years of training and dieting and it's not done by doing you no know, small little water manipulations and salt manipulations like I taught you guys. So please don't take this information and be like, this is finally what I need to do to look better. Because guys, to get the body you want, it takes months and years of practice and discipline. You know, I kind of made this video for fun to show you how you can actually transform your body like in two days. Like it's like I'm a transformer, it's kind of cool. You know, so I'm gonna be posting more fun little videos like this, but also be showing you guys tips on how you can make the big transformation that can actually change your body. Because we want permanent changes, not temporary changes. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for the next video.